Hi, in this video, we are going to see that how we can verify bulk emails without any SMTP server or any complicated setup. All we need to have is this software. This software runs without an SMTP server, but it uses the TCP port to scan and verify all emails through SMTP authentication. You can download this software from the link provided in the description. Once you download it, you will get a zip file that you can run on your local Windows PC or Windows RDP. Note that this software works only on the Windows operating system. After downloading, the first thing you need to do is extract the zip file. Once extracted, open the folder, and you will see that this is open source software, meaning you have access to the source code. You can even make modifications if you are familiar with C Sharp, as the software is developed in C Sharp. One of the key features is that it does not require any license and can run on multiple systems simultaneously. There is no installation wizard either. Simply navigate to the bin folder, then the debug folder, and double-click the EXE application to start it. Here, you can input your email, whether it's your Gmail, Google Workspace, or any professional or business email. Just ensure the email is correct. The default TCP port is set to 25, so you should leave it as is. Enable multi-threading only if you are running this on a Windows RDP or proxy server. If you are using a local PC, do not enable threading, as it increases the frequency, which could potentially blacklist your IP on a daily use network connection. Enable this setting only on a Windows server. And, click on Save Changes. After that, when we click on single validation, we get the option to verify each email one by one. For example, I'm going to test our support email, which is immarkethings1 at gmail.com. I know this email is absolutely correct. You can also find it on the contact us page of our official website. As you can see, the software has validated it as valid and deliverable. But if I change the email slightly, let's say by typing a random number, and I'm not sure if the email is correct or not, since it's not our email, and I check it, the software will show it as invalid and undeliverable. This was for Gmail emails. Now let's check some emails that are on domain names. For example, I will enter an email that I know is correct and on our domain. The software confirms that it is valid. Now, let's try the email from our parent company, Digital Marketing. This email is also correct. But if we slightly alter this email, which is not our email, you can see that this email is not correct because up to contact it was fine, but then we typed a random string indicating that this email does not exist. I showed you this example to clarify that the software did not ask for any SMTP credentials. You might wonder if the software is validating emails through MX records. To prove that the software is indeed checking the emails properly, I demonstrated that if it was only checking the domain, it would have accepted any email on the domain. For example, we used an email from our parent company, Digital Marketing, which has MX records but the software also checked the username. It has recognized contact as a valid email, but identified the random string we added as invalid, indicating no such email exists. That covers single validations. Now, let's move on to bulk validations. Here, we get two options. The first one, which is selected by default, is manually. This means you can either type your emails one by one, with each email on a new line, or you can copy and paste the emails from your email list here. This method is fine as long as your email list is relatively short, like our list here with 18 emails. You can easily copy and paste them. However, if your email list is quite large and contains a significant number of emails, I recommend using the second option. In this option, you provide the path to your text file containing the emails. When you import it, you will see that the same number of emails, 18 in this case, have been imported. Now, we are all set. We just need to click the Start Validating button. And it will start validating our emails. This software is quite fast and verifies emails quickly, 
but since we have 18 emails, we still need to wait for a few seconds. It can verify at least 2-3 to three emails per second, even without enabling threads. So, we will need to be patient while it completes the validation process. If you want, you can stop the process by clicking the stop button here. Well, it has verified all the emails which we have provided to this software. It's already showing us the number of valid and invalid emails here. But if we want to see in more detail, we need to click this view result button. And it will show us in detail that which email is correct and which are not. This way we can see and export the valid or invalid emails filtered by this software on just a button click. Here we need to define a file name and path to save that file. I named it validlist.txt and selected the desktop to save it. And as you can see it has given me the valid emails which are correct. Similarly, invalid export will also do the same kind of thing, but vice versa. So that's all about bulk email verification using this open source software. The only limitation this software has is when it's processing, you need to keep your PC on. If you want us to create videos on cloud-based softwares and creating Windows RDP, let us know in the comment section. For now, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching it.